and welcome back to my 2019 game room it hasn't really changed that much um, just an overall look first so if you have seen the 2018 game room tour it's almost basically the same one of the few additions are these awesome well three i think three or four of these awesome metal posters still got the diablo shot still got the little pc corner with my awesome figures in it this uh, my pc actually died two years ago that's why i'm able, unable to edit videos and i have kind of used this pc corner for my gunpla it's a hobby i found out last year and I've been doing it quite a lot. Uh, these are my three newest editions. They were on sale. This is the real grade. Real grade is the highest grade I've ever done. But um, I am definitely planning on after these three to have a perfect grade or something. Um, same stuff. Here are all the other Gundams. My uh, little PlayStation. My car, of course. <laughs> and uh, the old, you can't really see it, but the old PS2 and... Some other crap. Um, still the posters of Aerith and Tifa from Final Fantasy. And this, these, these are big windows. My uh, lounge area or whatever. Uh, there is a new edition though. I think two new editions. is the uh, metal poster of Zelda. Really cool. And the clock of Final Fantasy 7. It's actually an old vinyl if i remember correctly and that was super cool it it took a while to come here um so i was wondering maybe the company is a scam but no it uh, after a couple of months it finally came out of course again Sephiroth and claude and this is basically the biggest and the best area i here have my lounge uh, it's pretty cold here and uh, it's just cozy to have a blanket <laughs> kind of weird but that's what i like uh, here's my PlayStation 3 section, PS3. Uh, I don't think I've ever bought a single game last year, but I am making sort of a plan to get all the PS3 games I still want. Um, definitely because PlayStation 5 is coming pretty soon. So PlayStation 3 will go into that retro seen not now of course but you're gonna see games being more expensive i got the really rare class of heroes 2 that's really cool my uh psp area i did get this gravity rush 2 mock for my birthday huge fan of limited run it's basically kind of the same again i haven't bought a single psp game Something that I have been doing a little, little bit more is my Switch collection. Got Bayonetta, Hyrule Warriors. I got this game this week in the mail from Limited Run Games. I've been playing Sound Bay Chronicles 2. Awesome game. And there is also Super Mario after this. Uh, two Mario Amiibos I got really cheap. And a second Street Fighter controller I still have. Now to the biggest change, basically is of course the playstation 4 the ps1 still this is going away i'll be talking about this after i've done my gaming room tour i will explain uh one of the gundams i made pretty cool i don't really like paint them and mark them like so many others do i just like to build them and i think they look decent um these are all ps4 exclusives and uh, as you can see i don't have any more room left so all the collects editions or whatever i've just put in here and here are all the japanese games more japanese games more japanese games some uh, special collects editions from east asia soft pretty cool i actually need to get a little bit more um, and here we have the indie games uh, and hey, here's the limited run games sorry here are all the my limited run games and as you can see the shelf is full and uh you know i need more shelf space here are the indie games and again the indie games i don't have any more shelf so i need to put them here on the newest one is gondonium a pretty cool shooter and here are 
the Western games, the AAA games and the smaller games, also like Crash Bandicoot and the Starlink, a game I've been really been enjoying, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, will still be put in there. Here we have the PlayStation 2 area, my uh, special edition, limited edition, whatever, uh, PlayStation 2 from Japan. And this is basically the same. I haven't bought my Final Fantasy Shrine. I have not bought a single PlayStation 2 game. My PS1 era area. That's really cool. I just got that just for the picture. I really like Yuna. PlayStation 1. Of course, I got Legend of Dragoon. Alundra. Here is, uh, as you can see, Star Ocean. A lot of great games on the original PlayStation. Here on top is some, my fight stick, my Tekken 6 Glex Edition, uh, another Gundam. It's not really a nice one. It looked much better on package, but I just got it there, my pinhead, my 55 inch television, and basically the consoles that I use PS3 Slim, PS4 Pro, the Switch, because it's all black, so you can't really see it, but here's the Switch, normal PS2, and the PlayStation 2 uh, from Japan. Then we have my Japanese section, and here is definitely where most of the Gundams are. I think this is the Burning Gundam, I think this is the Destiny Gundam. I don't know which one that is. I'm not a huge Gundam fan, but I, I, I love the how it looks, the aesthetics of the, of the Gundams themselves. This is one of the newest that I have made. It's pretty cool, a little bit of a samurai-ish. And here are kind of the Japanese imports. This is my first Gunpla Gundam robot I've ever made and bought. Dragon Quest is basically the same. I haven't really gotten a uh, upgrade for my Japanese section. Here is the, <laughs> the the stand that I put when I always make videos in that way. So that was basically my game room um, from 2019. Hasn't been upgraded, uh, most is the Gundams that has been there and the PlayStation 4 section, and as you can see, is kind of outgrowing uh, the PlayStation 3. Not PS2 yet, but I mean, PS2 definitely has more games, but they're getting really rare and uh, the good ones are getting rare and very expensive. And uh, the PlayStation 4 is going very well. I have basically only been playing and been buying PS4 games. So the thing I want to talk about a little bit really fast is my plans for this year. Um, this year I'm gonna get rid of the two couches. That will be like a, just like a, a, a square couch. I don't know how you call that. Um, so I'll be getting a little bit more space for that. Not entirely sure if I'm gonna do that, but that's my plan. My biggest plan though is to reinvent reinvent is that no that's not a good word to make a change in this area all of that all of these things are going to be away um, i'm going to build a P pc section right here just with a uh, big table uh, where my pc is on basically pretty much and these are gonna be all shelves just like in here it's gonna be in here so it's not much compared to this corner but it is definitely going to be all the way pretty much on top the highest point um, to basically create room for the future and what i'm actually thinking about doing is relocating the retro section to here so basically i'm thinking about ps1 and ps2 maybe psp and uh, put it in here so that my PS4 collection has room to grow and of course, you know, the, the Switch section has room to grow and probably PlayStation 5 when it will come out next year. Hopefully it will still have physical medium and who knows what will happen. But that is the, these are basically the plans for 2019 and that, that's basically it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but because PS4 is... I don't really have room and of course I'll be getting a lot of games for PS4 and maybe some for Switch. I just need to have more room so I probably will do it um, that section there. So hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, a share, comment, subscribe. I also have Instagram and uh, like always see you next time.